Hi, my name is Michelle Trott and I am a scientific content writer here at Eyes on Science. Today I will give you a brief overview of what it is that Eyes on does. I will then cover examples of customer achievements, followed by some of our recent developments. Finally, I will tell you about what you can expect from Eyes on in the future. Eyes on Science supports the EV research field and related industries by providing solutions for the precise separation and analysis of nanoparticles, including extracellular vesicles. We aim to address key needs in the field, especially those related to reproducibility and precision in separation and physical characterization. We are also focused on making separation scalable. So here we have the components of Izon's QEV isolation platform. It partly consists of a line of size exclusion chromatography columns, dubbed QEV columns. And they are available to support a range of sample loading volumes, from 150 microliters to 100 mils. Each QEV column size comes in two types, each of which have a different optimal recovery range. The other core part of the QEV isolation platform is the Automatic Fraction Collector, or the AFC, which precisely measures volume by weight. The AFC can be programmed to automatically collect your desired volume and discard the rest. Together, QEV columns and the AFC provide a reproducible and precise system for EV isolation. This is the Exoid, our latest instrument which harnesses tunable resistive pulse sensing, or TRPS, to provide true single particle analysis. Some of you may be familiar with its predecessor, the Q-Nano. With TRPS, a nanopore is placed between two electrodes and an electrolyte buffer is added. When a voltage is applied, negative ions travel through the nanopore between electrodes in the fluid cells to produce a detectable baseline current. When the sample containing EVs is applied, EVs pass through the nanopore and produce a detectable drop in the current. The resulting blockade can be analysed to derive EV size, concentration and zeta potential on a single particle level. TRPS truly enables you to get high resolution insights on the particles in your sample. Here, a sample containing four different particle sizes was analysed using TRPS and NTA. You can see that TRPS clearly resolved the four subpopulations, whereas only three blended peaks can be seen using NTA. The superior accuracy and resolution of TRPS has now been shown in a number of systematic comparative studies. Looking at the big picture, the QEV isolation platform can be used to isolate EVs from a wide range of biological fluids. Isolated EVs can then be characterised using the exoid. Izon also offers kits for EV concentration and for RNA extraction. The concentration kit is suited to studies where you are probing EV cargo, such as through proteomics work or RNA analysis. If you are planning functional studies, keep in mind that it is not possible to separate intact EVs from the concentration beads, so you will need to put appropriate controls in place. Our platforms have been used across diverse areas of EV research. Just in the last few months, we have seen Izon's name appear in some very interesting studies, including biomarkers for facial tumour disease in Tasmanian devils, EV proteomics workflows, tau pathology and Alzheimer's disease, and mechanisms of EV microRNA in head and neck cancer. These are just a few examples, and if you want to receive brief, digestible summaries of relevant papers, you can do so by subscribing to our newsletter. Now on to some recent developments. Our R&D team has been working hard to test and optimise new Gen2 columns, which are built with a better performing proprietary resin. By using columns with this resin, you can remove more protein than before, giving you more EVs per microgram of protein as shown here. These columns provide better separation of EVs and protein, and as a result, better EV purity. Having this improved separation gives you greater control over your collection volume, compared to what was possible with our existing legacy columns. This elution profile shows a human plasma sample separated using a Gen2 QEV original column from the 35 nanometer series. From left to right, you can see the eluted EVs followed by protein. EVs were measured using the exoid and protein was measured by BCA assay. Using the AFC, you can choose to pull different collection volumes, 
depending on whether you want to prioritise EV concentration, recovery or purity. The default setting programmed into the AFC is a balance of recovery and purity. Recently, we also launched the QEV1. The QEV1 was developed to meet the strong demand for a column optimised for a 1 mil sample, a common sample volume obtained in clinical studies, general research, EV biomarker development and sample consortiums. Applying 1 mil samples to QEV1 columns results in a better EV to protein ratio when compared to applying 1 mil to a QEV original. Data here are shown for both the 35 and 70 nanometer series. In addition to supporting academic researchers, Izon is working alongside diagnostic companies. This slide here is to emphasize that the successful application of EV-based biomarkers requires reproducible and scalable EV isolation techniques. These principles are guiding developments at Izon Science, and we do have customers who use multiple AFCs in parallel. For both diagnostics companies and those in the research space, it is critical to use an isolation strategy that is effective and highly reproducible, as it is an important part of reducing the measurement error in analysis downstream. So we do supply a number of diagnostics companies with our QEV isolation platform, and we look forward to seeing how those companies progress with the development of their EV-based biomarkers. We are working to build new partnerships with groups who are looking to get their biomarker through to clinical trials and beyond. Izon has also been working on developing processes for the large-scale separation of EVs. As always, we are working to grow and improve our offerings for the EV research field and related industries. As part of this, we will be expanding the Gen2 range. Before you go, I just want to say that it is very rewarding seeing our platforms for EV separation and analysis being used in the EV research field. So if you are an Izon customer and would be interested in having your work featured, please do get in touch for a chat by emailing support at izon.com. If you have any questions about how we can support your work, please get in touch by filling out the contact form found on our website or by emailing support at izon.com.